What is up? I'm Wanted Turtle, and today we have another Pokemon video. If you haven't seen our latest Pokemart, uh, Hidden Fade Shiny Charizard is the prices are just going crazy right now, like up to 420. And we've been trying to pull it, we've been opening a bunch of tins, hasn't been going that well. So we're going to change up our strategy a little bit. And we're going to be opening it. Oh, it's been a while since I've seen one of these boxes. We got the Ultra Ball featuring the Metagross, featuring a Ultra Ball, which after the first one is like, all right, this thing is just kind of bulky. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we got 10 more shots at this. As usual, we're going to start off with a quick mail day of some stuff that we've been picking up recently. <clears throat> we only got one PSA card, and that is a Lantern Prime from Heart Gold Soul Silver Unleashed. Uh, you know, as far as I, my recommendations for picking up PSA cards, identify your goals and then just go after them. And if 10 is too high, drop down to nine, drop down to eight. Seven's a little bit low. At that point, you know, the cards kind of have like some significant chipping, uh, but eight, you know, near mint, that could just be centering. That could be like those really small nicks could even get you an eight. So I'm perfectly fine with that. And yeah, working through our primes. And then we got some raw cards. We'll start off with, uh, some really cool cards that i'm not crazy how they're shipped uh, a lot of times like I'm, this is really annoying when they have tape on there because basically i have to insert like a like a small knife or something just to cut that so i can take the card out but the bigger problem is that there's no sleeve to put a raw card into a into a hard case it is kind of strange like it could there could be something in there dust sand or whatever just to scratch the card so i wasn't very happy about very happy about that but look at this card sweet rocket mewtwo this is a very interesting card, but we'll talk about when we get into this one. We've got a Legendary Collection Zapdos. Interesting how Legendary Collection is super sought after, but Base Set 2, which is also a reprint set, is super not sought after. The uh, thing I want to mention about Mewtwo, this was the first card, I'm pretty sure, according to Bulbapedia, it says, uh, to have three attacks. As a result, the picture, you can we'll just compare it like this. Is significantly smaller, so I thought that's pretty cool, and I do really like that Mewtwo art. And our last one from this one seller is another Blaine's Charizard, and it does look pretty good in the mesh. You know, we got a sizable nick there, and uh, yeah, so I'm not a PSA expert, but if I had to guess, maybe like seven, uh, maybe eight. So some pretty nice cards right here, and then we have three more, which are actually going to be the actually. <laughs> let's actually talk about how this was shipped no tape on top I think what you know a lot of people do they just put it into one of these things and so the card doesn't really move around actually a lot of people put like the card in one of those sleeves and they just attach the sleeve to one of these hard cases but what we have here is actually all the base set starters doesn't get much better than this guys and they're actually you know not perfect condition but not too bad could eventually send these off to PSA so more base set starters can't go wrong all right let's get into this box all right we are up and running and uh, yeah we do have a shiny Metagross and uh, I will say, you know, my thoughts about that product is it's pretty good, has 10 packs, a lot of good value. The MSRP a while back for $50, probably have to pay like twice, if not more right now. But the product is just so big, taking up so much space, you know, that's why I really like the ETBs. Uh, they're just much easier to store. So let the siren go by. Sorry about that. And let's get into our first pack. Um, I will say the packs feel like there's like a lot of air inside. I'm not sure what's up with that. These I picked up a long time ago. Could have been from the like when this product first came out. Purchased a good amount from like Target and whatnot. All right, first pack. Can we find a Charizard? So we'll, we'll change up the strategy. Not going for those most recent print run of all the tins. So let's go for the Ultra slash Great Ball collections. And our. Ooh. It's like, not, not curved, but it's just, I don't know, it's kind of at a weird angle. <clears throat> Alright, nothing on our first pack. As always, guys, we're going for that at least 50% hit ratio, which is why we love Hidden Fates. And we've been, yeah, the, the most recent wave of 10s, it feels like you get a lot of shinies, but not many shiny GXs. And yeah, something's 
really weird about these cards. They're just kind of not warped, but just at a weird angle. Hard, hard to describe, but yeah, you can't really see it. It's there, trust me. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go into the pack number three. So far, nothing. And uh, hopefully we can start turning that around. Hope everyone's having a good day, though. And uh, yeah, if you do want to support the channel and you do enjoy the content, easiest way, cheapest way is just simply to subscribe and also hit that like button. It does help the channel reach new viewers and grow. All right, let's see. Oh, our first shiny, and it's a Magnemite. Ah, it's been a while since I've picked up a shiny that wasn't didn't have that super uh, textured version. This is kind of like the normal one, not the super glossy, not the super textured either. Magnemite is, eh, we'll take it. We got a couple metal Pokemon. Let's get something better though. But outside of, we also stream on Twitch, if you guys haven't checked us out there. And uh, also, we did start a Patreon page. If you do want to support us through Patreon, there's a few different levels. Including one where you can actually purchase some products for me at cost. Alright, this has actually turned out to be a very bad opening so far. Just a shiny Magnemite. We still got half of the box, over half the box. But look at this, it's like so fluffy. Very strange. It's almost like a bag of chips or something. That's what it reminds me of. And we have seen this in the past, and, and I have no concern that the product was like tampered with or anything. Although I am curious, kind of like how that happens. All right, pack number five. This is gonna be the halfway mark. Only one hit, so we're gonna need a strong second half to make up. We got Instruct or Ranguru. Pretty useful card, and probably like the best way to swag out is with this shiny. Not very well centered. Actually, if I recall, I think there was like, I'm not sure if it was a different print run, but uh, where there were a lot of centering issues on a lot of the cards. <clears throat> Maybe that's where this, or it feels like that's where this came from. But yeah, as far as of overall products, you know, 10 packs that for 50 bucks is a good value. Not crazy about how bulky it is, and to be honest, I, I feel like we haven't got the best hits out of these kind of boxes, although we did pull a Charizard out of one of them, and it was from Target, and they somehow made the mistake of sending me my order twice, so that was a very nice surprise. Although I think then the actual order was really bad. Ooh. I think we got Rainbow Birds, because it's not the last card. And there we, ooh, very nice pack. We got a Reverse Energy as well, and a very solid hit for the Rainbow Birds. Let's take a look at the centering. Not very well centered, like this side and top to bottom, not really centered. We'll grab a regular sleeve for you. And then, yeah, we can grab a perfect fit for you. Rainbow Rare, you deserve that. Okay, so very quickly, we are catching up kind of at three plus hits. Again, our target is five. Our quota is five. Uh, although, yeah, those shiny GXs, once it, it's, it's, it's like the curse. When, when Hidden Face first came out, we opened, I don't know, a good 50 to 60 packs before we found our first shiny GX. And yeah, it feels like I'm kind of like in one of those droughts once again. Hopefully we can end it ASAP, Brock, into a Voltorb. Alright, only two left. Alright, the side looks good. I think we got something. And uh, actually, just a quick, quick look at the centering. Once again, feels a little off, left to right at least. Alright, Graveler, Farfetch'd. Clefairy, Caterpie, Ekans, Paris, Charmander, a Snorlax is the rare, and then we got, ooh, Secret Rare Shrine. Or well, I guess it's not Secret Rare, it's SV90 out of 94, but a Gold Stadium and Shrine, probably one of the, the best one. Yeah, not very well centered, but definitely an awesome card. 
yeah, sometimes <laughs> we're good at pulling the gold cards, and it's not a boo loot, so I am very happy. Let's see, as far as like some of those outside like shiny GXs, we pull a lot of Bulus and uh, hikers. <laughs> I think we like my uh, where I have like my extra copies. There's like four hikers in there and two Bulus. All right, guys, last pack. Um. Even if we don't hit our quota, I'm happy with the rainbow and the golden shrine. Let's see if we can't hit anything in the last one. Side looks good again. Alright. I think we are going to hit that quota. And, uh, yeah, this is how I like openings. Obviously, it's nice to start things off really hot. But then when you pewter out, I definitely prefer this way. We got an Onyx GX. Sure, we'll take it. And we finally got a shiny GX electrode. Very nice. That is how you wrap up an opening. And yes, we finally got another shiny GX. The mini curse is over. Electrode, we'll take a look at the centering in a second. Let's take a look from the front. Left to right looks. Ooh. Hmm. This might be a good candidate for PSA. Let's grab a penny sleeve. If anyone knows where I can find card saver ones outside of buying from PSA for a very high price, let me know because I am on the prowl. All right, and that's going to be it for today. Very nice opening. Six hits plus an energy and the promo. And we got a rainbow birds and we got a gold card and we got one shiny GX. I give this two thumbs up and uh yeah as always guys thanks for watching hope you have a good day i'm Juan turtle and i'll catch you guys next time